Hey, what's up, guys? So uh, I just got word today that Cozy Blanket is now out. Now, I, I have no idea what Cozy Blanket is, um, but I appreciate it. Shout out to Mootlu for letting me know that Cozy Blanket is out. I have heard of it before. Apparently, it's retopology for 3D models, so it essentially brings the polygon count way down because some of mine are in the millions. So I'm going to check it out. I'm going to figure out what it's for, why it's useful for me as a beginner in all this. Okay, um, this is just all Google. Retopology is the process of simplifying the topology of a mesh to make it cleaner and easier to work with. Retopology is needed for mangled topology resulting from sculpting or generated topology. For example, from a 3D scan, meshes often need to be retopologized if the mesh is going to be deformed in some way. So I think it's like for animation, things like that. Uh, okay, let's, so this is the model that I want to use. Ah! Got it! Okay, so we're back on Twitter. Pablo Dabara, shout out to him. Apparently he does some really, really amazing stuff. Cozy Blanket. Okay, looks like it's free to download. Retopology app is designed as an accessible and relaxing experience focused on presenting retopology as an enjoyable game-like process similar to solving a puzzle. Okay, so let's double-click that. Face ID. It's interesting. I'm very interested in what this is. Okay, let's let it load. Cozy Blanket. Welcome to Cozy Blanket. Cozy Blanket is a retopology app designed as an accessible and relaxing, oh, I think I just read this. Mesh editing is done by using gestures, directly drawing on the mesh with the Apple Pencil. All gestures were designed in a way that make the creation of the most common retopology patterns as straightforward as possible. So let's start introduction. Creating faces. You can add a new face by drawing a square or triangle on the mesh. The existing mesh is also taken into account, so you only need to draw the missing lines to complete a new face. Tip, for more precise results, try to draw sharp corners and straight lines. Deleting faces. Drawing an X shape over a face will delete it. Tip, like all editing gestures in Cozy Blanket, the X shape has to be drawn in a single stroke. Okay, good to know. Inserting edge loops. You can insert a new edge loop by crossing an existing edge with a straight line. Okay. Tip for, opt for optimal precision, try to cross a single edge with your stroke. Crossing multiple edges may not work in some situations. Dissolving edge loops. Scratch. I've actually never heard of that word before. Over an edge. Scratch. Scratch. Scratch over an edge to dissolve the entire edge loop. Tip for the gesture to work, it is important to scratch a single edge. Avoid crossing additional edges with your stroke. Okay, so I guess that just takes, that takes away like a whole line. Okay, got it. Moving a vertex, double tapping, double tap and drag vertex to, to adjust its position. Tip, Cozy Blanket also has tools for relaxing and moving multiple vertices if needed. So you don't have to adjust all positions individually to achieve regular topology. Okay, I still, I don't really know what any of this means, just FYI. You probably do, but I, I have no idea. Sliding edge loops. Similarly to, similarly to tweaking a vertex position, double tapping in the middle of an edge will slide the entire edge loop. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Tip, if performing this gesture is moving unwanted vertices, try to zoom in on the edge you want to slide. Okay, merging and collapsing. Draw a line back, a forward, Draw a line back and forward from two vertices in order to merge them. This gesture can also be used to collapse edges into a single vertex. Okay, I mean, it, kind of, it makes sense. I'm not going to remember any of this, but it makes sense. Creating face loop tags. Face loop tags. Drawing over an existing edge will add a loop tag. You can use these tags to check the topology flow of your mesh or marking reference features. Tags update automatically as you modify the mesh with any other operation. In order to remove a loop tag, draw over any edge that is included in that loop tag. That was a lot for my brain. Okay, let's move on. Cozy Blanket could also be rec can also recognize other similar gestures that make your process faster. 
You can check the documentation for more technical and detailed explanation of all available features. Start using Cozy Blanket. Here we have our a frog, a cute little frog. Okay. So what I don't what I what I don't quite get is like why can't I make this like bigger? Oh, it makes it four already. See, I'm just like I'm very lost. I don't remember. Was it was it was it a double tap? Is it something like that? Okay, so I'm assuming that I just do something like this. But how precise does it have to be in order for it to be right? I think that's the question. I mean, it feels sort of correct to me. So maybe something like that. So it would take me a while to do this whole thing. Let's check out uh, some options and stuff here. Changes will not be saved. Retopology pack. Cozy Blanket includes feature set that make it suitable for education and entertainment. In order to use Cozy Blanket for other purposes, we recommend purchasing the Retopology pack. Without purchasing the Retopology pack, Cozy Blanket can only import meshes was with less than 45,000 vertices. All right. The retopology pack includes access to the following feature. Import OBJ files with any vertex, vertex count. Export OBJ files of the retopology mesh. So you can export from Cozy Blanket. So that's obviously useful. Auto save and open Cozy Blanket documents. Erase tool. Patch clone tool. Okay, so... I think this, I think it's worth getting. So let's just go ahead and get it. $89.99, so it's $90. <laughs> You're all set. Okay, so, so I don't know how, I don't know how many vertices this was before. So let me just, how do you save? Let's see. Okay, so it's only 12 KB. So I guess we'll make a cozy blanket file. We'll save it under Nomad. We'll make a new folder. We'll call it cozy blanket. So I'm gonna bring in a model that I'm, that I know. What is that? This is just the background. Okay, what is this? Cozy blanket. Okay, so this is just documentation and, okay, so it just goes to a website. Let's see what this does. I don't know what that does. Is my Apple Pencil working or did I? No, it's working. So th I guess these are only like finger. So if I hold this, okay, so that selects, it seems like. How do I get rid of it? Clear, okay, clear. This, oh, let me try the X thing. So it was X, X is it. What is holding this? Oh, okay, so that's the same thing. So if you hold this and you touch, same thing as doing the X, move. So that moves it, okay, let me undo it. Relax, so that kind of like spreads it out, relax, that makes sense. Pencil, what is, what is pencil? I don't know what pencil means. Okay, so, I don't know, can I do it like big? I don't know. Like, I don't know how you would even do a shape like this. 
Like, I don't know if I'm doing it the right way or not. Like, how pretty do they have to be? <laughs> how pretty do they have to be? I don't know. Oh, I don't, can I scribble the line away? I thought I could scribble the line away. this I can't tell if that actually worked this is probably not the way to do it so I'm gonna go into nomad sculpt so here I have a snail uh, 1.2 million vertices and it has the shell teeth body tongue so it's pretty it's just a simple like a simple uh sculpt so let's export this as an obj i suppose so let's export this as an obj i don't know what normals are but we'll export those as well export and save to files So we'll name it Cozy Snail. Saved into My Saved Elements. So now let's start from the beginning. So I'm going to close this app. I'm going to close the app out. And first of all, let's see if we can export right to an app. Export OBJ. So it looks like we can export right to it. It's 178 megabytes. Performance viewpoint enabled. Oh, I missed whatever that said. Okay. So this was 1.2 million vertices, 178 megabytes. So apparently I can retopologize this. Okay, I got my first square. Or Whatever shape this is I just don't know how to make it efficient see this definitely doesn't look right I mean, I guess they're supposed to look flat. I don't know. I'm so confused if I'm being completely honest with you. So I guess I'll just do all of this and then I'll speed it up so you can kind of see, but I don't really know what I'm doing. So of course, as you can see, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just sort of trying to do what they were doing in the videos. I didn't do any research on this beforehand. Um, but I kind of just wanted to try it out from the standpoint of someone who has absolutely no idea and goes into the program and buys it and has to figure it out. Um, now I'll probably figure this out eventually, but this is how I like, this is how I usually just start an application. Like I kind of get the gist of why it's useful and then I try to go in and figure out how to use it and just see how intuitive it is. And this is difficult because I've only been doing 3D for a year. I really have no... Um, I'm not that great at 3D. I'm not that great at what this is used for. I've never used Maya. I've never used Blender. Any of those bigger, badder uh, applications. I'm simply Nomad Sculpt. But obviously, if this is a way to cut down on the polygon count and make it more manageable and just make it more useful, then I want to figure out how to do it. But I do like to figure it out on my own if I can. But I will have to do some research clearly because... Um, Obviously, what I'm doing is, I'm, I'm sure people that actually understand this are shaking their heads. So I'm just going to speed through the rest of this because um, I think this was this whole part was like maybe like 25 minutes. So I'm just going to speed it up so we can kind of get going 
on this video and you'll see I how you see the result that. into Nomad Sculpt. Oh man, I've done a terrible job. All right, so I'm really confused. I'm just gonna see what happens when I export this. Okay, let's see. Import uh, Cozy Snail 1. This is what we have. Yeah, I don't really understand. How big is this? So this is 269. So I, it is tiny. Okay, interesting. I mean, it's interesting. It kind of has it, but I just, I just need to learn, I guess, how to use that better. I don't know. So there's a lot, there's a lot I have to learn. I might go live and see if I can sort of figure out what I'm doing. But that was the first time using it, downloading it, installing it. I can kind of see the benefit and hopefully I'll get something, I'll get a better result once I get more familiar with the app. But at least that's a first look. So you know what it's like if you download it and kind of how to bring meshes over. Hopefully that was helpful. Let me know. I'm going to do a few more on this app once I get to know it a little better and fully take advantage of what it can do from what I'm hearing. Uh, it sounds like it's going to be very, very useful once I know what I'm doing. All right, keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll catch you all in the next video.